Will he hit the rock? No, he's gonna miss it. Ah, a little bit. Oops. Well, camera does no good on that rock, huh? Nope. <laughs> I wouldn't know either way because I'm not swinging a sledgehammer with that damn thing. <laughs> This chair all be full. Uh, I did have some people in here. Yeah, so Comes out of adjustment. maybe the back seat of the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah really that's nice. probably. Enough. Well, I guess we're go. Uh, we're going to Long Island to the Chocolate Expo. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, not for me. Chocolate and me no longer really get along too much. On my last blood test, the doctor was like, eh, yeah, just, just keep an eye on it. It's just, what, sugar or cholesterol? The sugar just said, just, uh, just kind of watch it a little, you know. That, I was in other words, you're edging high. Well, my AC number is six and a half. Mm -hmm. Is that good or bad? Not too good. Not too good? No. It's not horrible. You're not yet a type 2 diabetic. What's a, what's a, what's a, what's a bad AC number? Seven and higher. Oh, yeah. I was I was like floating around on like she said like it wasn't six and a half. It was like six point mm -hmm. something. You know, she's just like keep an eye on it. So I said, you know, are they aware of your diet? <laughs> Again, I get that looked at. And, you know, cholesterol is good. She just said you know you can't uh, eat like you're eating like you were twenty. I said I know. Yeah, you eat like you were ten. <laughs> Well, considering your horrible eating habits, the numbers aren't that bad. I would have expected far worse. Praise the Lord, they fixed this road. They're yeah, doing, tell they're me doing... about it. I was up all fucking night because of this shit. Oh, really? What, what is... It's just a trick of the sound. It sounded like they were literally in the room with me. Really? You could hear it like Yes, that? yes. I even turned the fucking air conditioner on to try to drown some of it out. Nope. How many nights? Just one. Oh. Just one real bad one. I thought it was like two nights they were... No. No, that's when they got to this area, this section here. They're doing uh, Stonely right by McDonald's there. Mm-hmm. I know. I saw them. From, you know... This was freaking atrocious. This was bad. Are they going to tear that house down? Don't know. All condemned. Don't know. Bad location anyway. How the hell are you getting out of the fucking driveway? With great care. Uh, yeah, it was so cool. I went into Home Depot to get uh, some shit and then got this and change. Yeah, yeah. It's good stuff. So, I'll probably wander to the bank with uh, rolls of uh, bicentennial quarters. I was just telling Mike <laughs> about that. Oh, yeah, I'm 9, 10, 11, 12 years old. All right, think, throw it in the drawer. Oh, look, a quarter. Think, throw it in the drawer. Mm -hmm. it, what the hell did I know? <laughs> and I just always did it. Yeah, yeah. Throw it, and then you know, all of a sudden I have two or three or four. You throw them in the drawer. They're bison, you know, knowing damn well that they're not worth anything. Yeah. Well, still worth twenty-five cents. Well, yeah. Well, like I said to Mike, no harm, no foul. Okay, so what? I saved, you know. I have a mint set, the buy steel mint set. I looked it up this morning on eBay. There's somebody selling one for a dollar and forty-five cents. Yeah, you have face value is a dollar and eighty-one cents. Yeah, you have three of them. You have the mint set, then you have a proof set. And then no, you this is not the proof set. It's yeah, just then you the got the set. silver set. Yeah, this is just a regular mint set in a plastic bag. Yeah, they're 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 they're. What you do with those is the mint sets are technically regular coins. Mm -hmm. So if like let's say like what I do with my penny collection, I went and cut open a couple of old mint sets that are worth a penny. Mm -hmm. The nickel's worth a nickel. Yeah, <laughs> the dime's yeah. a dime, and you cut them out, and people do this. So I go over to the these mom and pop coin shows once every couple of three months as I was, I was telling Mike I was like well that's how I did the pennies the guy goes oh let's see what you got he gave me like you know double what I had in the money so mm -hmm. if you're just pulling them out of change with the exception of the two that I have 
because uh, there's there's four 1909s and I got one of them <laughs> and a 1915D which was in almost damn near perfect condition. So yes, uh, Mike said I made a dollar a year on uh, <laughs> maybe okay yeah. that, that may be, but guess what I guess what I got in between the 1915D and the 1909S? For what? Almost four thousand dollars. I don't know. I ain't selling them. They, they, those went into the collection. Mm -hmm. Don't know. I got out of coins. Not getting back in. Well, it's just the just the just the, I'll just do the Jefferson nickels and the pennies, which I have to keep up with every year. So the only thing I need now this year is a 1916 S uh, penny and nickel. That's it. Keep popping in. Wait till next year. <laughs> That's it. Done. <laughs> fucking with nothing else. Yeah. Got the Ike dollars. I did that. Did the Kennedy halves. That's it. And the Susan B's. And I don't have to do them no more. Because I, you know, I had most of them. Thank God, you know. And I wouldn't have done the pennies, but I was doing it like a hair, right? A little bit in the early 80s, what I know. Then, then right before, I, maybe 86, 87, I was fucking with it a little bit. And then briefly in the 90s, oh, you know, let's revive this. And I left it alone again. Then I kind of restarted it when I retired, left it alone. Now I'm restarting it again and I finished it. Mm -hmm. Only because I had all the hard stuff. Now, if I had to buy some of those pennies now with coin shows, oh, no. Hell, hell no. Fucking hell no. Some of these coins now are eight, 800 to 1500 For who and for what? No fucking way. No fucking way. So I got them all. They were cheap. I'm glad I got them when I did. And I got a compliment at one of the coin shows. Yeah. Yeah, because like, like, so now I'm going around, like I said, I was buffing it up, and now I'm like, I cracked the thing open. I'm missing shit from the 70s. I'm missing shit from the 80s. So I go around with the coin book, crack it open, get the glasses. All right, what are you looking for? I'm looking for a 76D. You know, this is all, all 15 cent coin, you know. And I was like, well, here you go. I said, oh, no, 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 no. I want uncirculated. I want red uncirculated. I ain't put, putting it in here. I put it in there. Do you know that Terry does not know who the Iceman is? Kuklinski? No. Oh no, no, not that ice man. The um, the other one, uh, let's see, from from the Alps. Oh him. The, the, that the other ice man. Yeah. And I said, don't you watch the History Channel, the Smithsonian Channel? She goes, no. I said, you know, the guy that was buried up there for five, five, five or ten thousand years under the ice. And she's like, well, okay. I said, well, he's on display in Long Island. They got a replica. She, Is it made of chocolate? I go, no. no. The plastic. Yeah. I said, it's on the way to the Chocolate Expo. Well, Terry's mentality is more Sesame Street. I said, do you want to go see the Iceman? She goes, is it on the way to the uh, chocolate show? I go, yeah. Is it going to be I go, well, well, maybe we'll stop. Maybe we won't. I don't know. I thought it would be cool to see a replica of him <laughs> than, than, than to go see chocolate, but we'd see both, maybe just the chocolate then. I don't know. Whatever works. And then you can watch Terry consume her weight in chocolate. All 400 pounds of it. Oh, did you ever fix your uh, quarter inch? Yes, I did. No problem. It took about two seconds. And I missed a snap on shark yesterday. I wrote a list of shit. And I had a whole pile of rusty tools I forgot to give you. Oh, that's all right. I'll get them. I go in there. Da -da 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 -da, and all of a sudden, it's 3 o'clock. I go, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> he's on, on Friday. Oh, the, the, so I'm like, all right. I'll have to wait. I'll wait. Next Friday, I'll get it. So he's got he's got it. I, I just have to. I, I still got your, your quarter-inch thing. I just, uh, you know, I'll yeah, write it down. Good. So I wrote because, like, three other things came up. So I wrote it down. I can handle four or five things. You start adding like, uh, I got to start writing shit down. It's like, oh, uh, here, <laughs> estate sale, go to the bank, post office, drop this off, run the trash out. Okay. Snap on guy at 1130. Now go here. And da -da 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 -da, you know, phone call and mail this out. And, and I skipped over it. And shit. 
What do you got, the snap-on a Craftsman? Uh, I think I got a couple of Craftsman wrenches or a screwdriver or some other shit. Like, I found the world's rustiest ratchet is still down the barn. I gotta bring that up. I got I want. I want to see it. <laughs> is it, is it snap-on? That's Craftsman. It's Craftsman, yeah. yeah. And I'm demoing the fucking old camp right now, so I'm finding all this shit tucked away in there. Hmm. For sale. having his dinner there. The crow can fly away. <laughs> That's another road they need to fix, sort of. Yeah, uh, then we're gonna fix this one. Not enough people live out here. I'll just keep patching it indefinitely. This road's not that bad though. This is not yeah, doesn't see enough traffic. That's why they never fix the bridges. Hmm. Does this it, the railroad still works, right? Oh yeah. This one does not the one the bridges are using. Another crow, another squished animal. Oh, that one works, but that one doesn't. Yeah. Ah. One is defunct, one is not. Of course, who's going to fit the bill to rip out the tracks and rip out the bridge and straighten no, the road right. out? No, right. <laughs> Maybe one day it'll be a bike path. means we'll have good weather for the uh, car show. Should. Let's see. Is it always this? I thought it was uh, later. Nope. It's always the first weekend in May. First weekend, okay. Which technically is next weekend, I guess, because this is the last weekend of April. My old Pontiac. Yep, looks just like it. <laughs> Same colored rust and... Uh... Uh -huh. <laughs> It's actually still running. <clears throat> Went back down a couple years ago. 
after I saw it, it was still running. Huh. So I sold it to a first class. Then I go take somebody down there to alcohol rehab, and then I cut through the parking lot. I was like, wait a minute, it's my car. And it was uh, still running. <clears throat> and I told them, this is not for trips to California. This is this is back and forth to work. I said, no, I wouldn't go out outside Richmond with this. And I said, that's it. And we were still running a few years later. Jeez. Looks like somebody got your spot. <laughs> Just drive over the curb right there, it works. <laughs> I was like, what are they doing? <laughs> uh, and he remembers and turns the wheel and it's not even in the right spot. Lucky the curb wasn't higher. Or he wasn't in a smaller car. Crunch. <laughs> 